Good morning friends, it is Wednesday morning and I just got ready for the day. I decided I'm not messing with my hair and I just put it in this clip. Yeah, I just didn't wanna mess with it. So I am leaving to go meet two of my friends in the neighborhood for breakfast at Neater's this morning. And so we try to get together for breakfast every once in a while and today is the day. So we are gonna go to Neater's and grab breakfast. So come with me, I love their food there. Everything is good, everything is decadent, like their pastries, like everything is so good there. And they have cute, cute decorations and they have aprons. Ugh. If you live near Neater's, go check out their aprons, they're cute, they're a little spendy, but they're stinking adorable. Okay, let's go. many hours have went by <laughs> it is now six in the evening I've been working on the collaboration video that I did the other day go check it out five time saving hacks for moms go check it out um, so I've been working on that and yeah and some desk time and now I'm just getting dinner ready so what I'm doing is thawing out a pound of hamburger so I'm gonna brown up some hamburger I uh, got this nice big onion here. I'm gonna chop this up, add it to it, brown it up in my pan. And the next step, I'm gonna need my Instant Pot. I'm browning up the meat, and I decided to add some green peppers and some of that leftover sliced zucchini from the potato bar, and get that cooking in here with this. And as soon as I don't see any more red, I'm gonna add a clove of garlic as well. Okay, that is all done. It smells so good. But you guys, I am still learning the magical wonders of my Instant Pot. And I forgot that I could have done what I did in the pan in here. There's like a saute set um, button. I could have done that. But the one of those afterthoughts. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some pasta. Here I have some elbow macaroni. I'm going to add that in here with four cups of water. And then I'm going to add some salt to that. And then I'm going to put in my spaghetti sauce and my meat mixture, mix that in, and then I'll show you how to cook it. Okay, I gave that a little mix. Now I'm going to put the cover on, um, seal it up. Um, and it's been a while, so I'm going to guess five minutes. So I'm doing manual, high pressure, five minutes. So it'll get up to pressure and then take five minutes to cook. I have the seal button up. Dinner is pretty much done and it is 6.30 and I'm off to church to a um, Ridley Society Presidency meeting. Derek is going to be walking through the door any moment and that's dinner tonight. Easy. Alright, so here it is. Kimmy started it and I got to finish it. I just got put in the pressure cooker for five minutes and then I let it sit for a couple minutes before I did a full release of the pressure and opened it up and it worked out great. Kids loved it. Ooh, it's all steamy. There we go, there we go. Delicious. Good morning, Shaylee. Good morning. <laughs> it is Thursday morning and Shaylee is looking at her morning routine to see what she has to do to get and ready. And now one. Yeah, it's on the back, remember? The night routine. I showed this probably the, the, the a year and a half ago. The, the now at school. Oh, okay. I showed this about a year and a half ago, maybe. I'll leave a link to it. But it has words and pictures, and she can learn to be independent and, and get that? ready. 
That's your vitamins, remember? <laughs> so, I don't care what order you do it in, but we're gonna get ready. Potty. Go potty. Go potty. You're gonna go potty? Yeah. <laughs> she already ate her breakfast. She's so cute. So I'm just working on the kids' school lunches, and one tip that I forgot to mention in my mom hack video the other day, I'll leave a link to it. Um, when you do ham and cheese, I find that if you cut the sandwich before you freeze it, it thaws out better. Sometimes if your sandwich is really thick, full of meat and cheese, right in that middle, it could stay a little frozen for them. So I noticed that if I cut it in half, it helps thaw it out better. Um, and also, I cut the sandwiches different depending on what's in them. The ones with mustard are straight down the middle. The ones that don't have mustard are cut at a diagonal. And that seems to help out in the morning and confusion and all that. Holy cow, you guys. Holy cow. Thank you. I'm excited to read and write back to you. You guys are so sweet. Okay, I just have a little bit of dishes to clean up. Oh, my refrigerator is loud too, you guys. The compressor. Seriously. Everything is just falling apart here. Oh well. Um, okay, come along with me as I get my dishes done, get some chores done around the house. I got a surprise thing in my schedule today so two things got turned around so I need to leave the house but that's okay um, so I'm gonna try to get everything that I want to get done before I need to leave and hurry and put some makeup on and leave the house so come along with me as I get some chores done and then yeah so I'm not gonna take you all through my day today just because it's gonna be a crazy evening I've got, we've got appointments to get to and then I gotta edit this and then I gotta go to my ortho appointment because then we find out how much longer Eek. and Jonah has a lacrosse game and then we're gonna come home and I want to be with Derek and go to bed so join me as I clean around my house
Okay, this is how I sort my laundry. So these are all dirty things, okay? So I sort them by towels, colored clothes, whites, and down here is sheets and microfiber. And that's how I sort it. Okay, I've been fiddling with my decorations, kind of moving things around the house. I ended up keeping these signs that I got from Walmart. I took the tags off and I took some um, of the succulents that I bought and put them up there to kind of break it up and give it some color. So I like that. I just need something over here and I'm, you know, I'll keep my eye out for something that will kind of blend in with it all. And that way I have my decorations for, from like uh, January till the fall when Halloween starts and Christmas and all that stuff. So I switched up on top of the fridge. I kept the love sign there. I moved the candle thing that was on my uh, fireplace mantle up here with this life is fragile handle with prayer sign. So I mixed it up up there. Okay, here I put the Neil sign. It used to be where Jesus is. <laughs> But I put it over here and I liked the wood look so I put the wooden H over here and then here I put pictures of my kids and my niece and nephews right here so the brown bow tie breaks up the neutral color here and ties in with the wood that I have right here so yeah and I am going through my decorations. Um, my friend Destiny just popped over and I gave her two signs um, that I had and I still have more. Some of these I'm keeping, some of them I'm not. Um, these wrought iron um, candle obras and well these are, this iron rack, there's two here, they're candle holders and then these two iron things, I'm thinking of painting them white and then I'm hanging them in my entryway and I think the candle ones I'll put in my bedroom. So I've got to spray paint those. I'm going to add this into the office and there's some over here that I, I might sell. So I'm working on our decor, what I'm keeping, what I'm not, donating, selling, whatever. So yeah, so I'm just working on that. It's fun moving decorations around the house because it feels like you went shopping when you didn't. And uh, so it's, it's fun switching it up, give it a different feel in the home. Kind of gives that little itch to decorate and, and wanting to buy something feel, get fed. Do you know what I'm saying? So yeah, so I like, I like up there. I like that there's some more color up there. Now I just got to find something right there. So now that I've picked up, Picked up from the morning and a little bit from last night. I'm chilling here. I opened up a box from one of you. Thank you so much. The best thing, besides the gift was pretty cool, but I think the best thing that was in the whole box is this bubble stuff. What is this called? Poppy. Oh my gosh, I'm drawing a blank. But this stuff right here is the best thing. I'm not saving it for the kids. No, I usually do and they fight over it. I'm just going to sit here and pop this. this stuff's awesome. Mm, so satisfying. It's great for little kids. It's great for adults. When you get mad, keep some on hand. Instead of like wanting to strangle somebody, you could be like, grab this. It's like a good, um, you know, anger management skill. Darn you! I could have used this this morning in carpool when the mom cut me off. I said some choice words. I was on the phone with Derek. He'll tell you. He'll be like, cut me off! Ah, <sighs> so satisfying. <laughs> It feels so good. I love it. Anyway, anyway, enough with that. The noise is probably getting to you. Maybe I should do an ASMR video. ASMR. She's in her apron. ASMR video. Today, I'm going to use this poppy stuff to relax you from your long day of work. When you're frustrated.
table, wrapping stuff. Pop your heart out. Feels so good. <laughs> if I don't have a video up on Sunday, I wanna say happy Mother's Day to all of you moms and also to all of you women. Um, women play a role as a mom in all circumstances. If you have nieces and nephews, um, if you are a teacher, um, the love that you give to a child, that is a mother's love. So celebrate your womanhood as well on Mother's Day, okay? I know it's hard for some that are struggling with infertility and loss of a child. I remember Mother's Day was not my favorite time of year, even when I had one, when I had Callie. It was still heartbreaking when I went through all those years of infertility. Um, and so I know Mother's Day is a tough day for most people but celebrate your womanhood because those are motherly qualities and you are an inspiration to people around you. You have so much love. Give it. Give it. Okay? All right. We'll see you guys. Thanks for joining me.